It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Grandpa, hurry! Hurry Grandpa, up! Grandpa, you're too slow!
Super Smash Brothers is back! Now on the
Hear another story. Ah, uh, yes, of course. You've been waiting a long time for this, so how about a special one? This story is very strange and very nasty, but somewhat nostalgic. Do you think you can be a good girl and listen all the way to the end? Is it a scary story? It might be. But it's also a very uh, important story. If you don't want to hear it, I can tell you a different story. No, I want to hear it. This way, I won't be scared. Will you turn on the TV then? Leave the sound down like always. Now, listen, this is important. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Could you wait just a little longer? This won't take long. Could you wait just a little longer? This won't take long. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. It's about time to get started. Zack. Zack, can you hear me? It's me, York. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? Ah, uh, good. I thought you went to sleep. Zack, don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay, Zack?
sure that's one way of looking at it. But it's totally wrong. Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think of it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's his partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Can you hear me? Hmm. Zack, there goes the civilized world. Looks like we're being welcomed. Zack, I'll let you handle the meet and greet.
been through a lot of crazy situations, but that one... That one takes the cake. It's the first time I've been attacked so directly. Zack? Can you give me a logical explanation about what that was? Never mind, don't answer. Life is fun because of the mysteries. Right, Zack?
Can you hear me better now? Cool. Gonna make it a hell of a lot easier to talk. I can view the chat on my phone, but I can't type back on my phone. You've heard me and Cynthia talk about this game before, right? Never heard us talking about Francis York Morgan and how fucking ridiculous this game gets. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Wait, this is... this isn't nothing. Have you ever seen Twin Peaks? This game is based off the old TV show Twin Peaks, which was weird by itself. And they somehow made it even weirder. Yes. Yeah. You saw Twin Peaks for the first time yesterday? Twin Peaks is great. I'm trying to get Cynthia to watch it more, but she never <laughs> wants to. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Going this 
Yeah. Yep, he does that every time. <laughs> this is now the third system I've played this game on, too. I used to play it on Xbox and then PS3. And now I have it for computer. And I've never beat it. <laughs> There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. This is where the game starts Yesterday getting morning, weird. milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, Tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. Coffee warned me about it. And now I'll just sprint 500 yards. Yep. And that's what he's supposed to do. Now you were very late. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Call me York. Agent York? Good, that's good. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking... The music never fits what's going on. All the way here? My car broke down, that's all. Easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. I already I think he's a psycho. Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff. Mr. George Mustache. Gordon. Call me George. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's yep. what everyone calls me. <laughs> Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small-town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample, but I need you to understand that. 
Of course. <clears throat> of course. Now suck so my way, smoke. George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant Thomas to take care of it. Do you need anything else? Thanks. That'll be all. Well then, I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. But, uh, I really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. Also, I'm a dick. And we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshiper to appreciate the wildlife here. But you do have to fuck off. So let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just met the king. <laughs> you know, as well as I do, that they never tell anyone that. You never saw the zombies, you never saw the ghosts. And the demon was just a creak in your floorboards. Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another That's how he town thinks. in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenland. I'm Sheriff George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. been using that one for a long time. Why didn't he get it repaired? This TV is important to you, right? Who is who? It's got some memories so attached what is to this? it, sure. Yeah. Yep, I used to watch movies on this thing with your <laughs> grandma all the time. I thought you said, who grandma is Grandma likes movies? Of course she did. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies, too. I've never been to a movie theater, though. That's because your parents don't love you. Sugar donut. I'll, I'll just eat that with my jar of pickles from earlier. Oh, this bullshit part. Now get ready for this. This this is crazy. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. That's right. They detect you via <sighs> your breath. Like this. Cover your mouth.
Those are impressive skills at holding your breath. That's much longer than I could do it. His fist would have done been in my mouth. <laughs> yep, they are completely blind unless you breathe. <laughs> Who are you? wonder who it could possibly be. That's the true horror of them, that they have no teeth. Other than that, they're just regular people. Can of pickles. So here's one interesting thing about this game. If you don't shave, he'll grow a beard. And if you don't wash your face, he'll be stinky and flies will fly around him. Zack, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees carpet with red leaves, a strange doll, and twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Perhaps he was me when I was a child. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. I always Let's head do. to the cafeteria, Zach. I hope they have some real coffee. Oh, and you have I to really send your need clothes off to the cleaners. Then we can head to the sheriff's they office. they get stinky, too. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? So you have to change them every once in a while. This next part is me and Cynthia's favorite. And I was really hoping, because I played this before I watched Twin Peaks, and I was really hoping that they were going to do this in Twin Peaks. But they didn't. Yes. Yes, it is. Good yeah. morning, this Mr. Is our Morgan. Favorite part. Your breakfast is ready for you. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then, thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Yes, it's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was and the music if gets louder and they can't hear each other over the sound here. of the music. Oh, no, no one else. <laughs> My husband and I used to run this place, but... He's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh my, we're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It doesn't sorry. even sound like it the must same be thing. It's difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. 
Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. You're not Holly, getting in these panties. I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table my, in the cafeteria. My audio have just to make cut out shit. Of all this space. <sighs> there we go. Now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working the on. last old I'm lady sure I tried to have sex with scratched wound. me. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you And know. we've arranged really? for an old-fashioned. I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zack, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? No. What is it, Mr. Morgan? Oh, nothing. I just said that these bacon and eggs are the very best I've ever tasted. Oh, really? You flatter me again. <laughs> well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. Look with interest. Did you see that, Zack? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. It never, never fails. fails. Now then, let's get going. He's really a dick. Not kind of. Dude gets paid all the time. Police car. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. Oh, come now. He woke up and drank some coffee. That's something. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. This game simply amazes me. The keys me. were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Okay. This game has the worst driving controls. So... Signals, east talk, break, steer. Okay. 
Master Key. <laughs> and I went the wrong way anyways. Son of a bitch. So, Zack, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. <laughs> he probably so should. Many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. Son of a bitch! And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there. Just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? Filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but... For some reason, I still remember it pretty well. <laughs> it had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute-long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zack. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. <laughs> I never learned to drive more gooder. Now nah, this game's impossible to control the cars. It just it's just the worst. Nope. You are allowed to do whatever you want in a car in this game. Drive the sidewalk, go for it. There's nobody to hit either, so you're good. Building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. What a fine building! Recognize this character? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. <laughs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just, just call, call me, me York. York. That's, That's what, what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Yep. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Well, they had permission. Almost Plus, they didn't like lift cartoon. the whole story, like the... Overall story is different, it's just the characters are all the same.
Long tailed flying squirrel keys. turkey sandwich. That is a trading card for a turkey sandwich. Not an actual turkey sandwich. Zack, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zack? You're a dumbbell. Her, 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 her. It's to the filing cabinet. They all have different squirrels on them, and you have to figure out which squirrel is the one that he wants. It's like a Canadian flying squirrel or something that he wants. Looks hard at work, but I could probably get the same work done while reading a book. Because I'm an asshole. Ugh. George, do you work out every day? Uh, of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. That's why you're so pudgy. I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. Oh no, where's Arnold? George, I found Arnold. Really? He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. Her, her, her. Uh. Oh, <laughs> Arnold.